today we're going to Vancouver, British Columbia to try the best breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert options. Hello lovers and welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today I'm starting a new little mini series called Breakfast, Lunch, Dinner, Dessert where I review different restaurants and little snack shops across one city so you can see that there's a variety whenever you're in that city. And I don't usually go to the most popular places so if you do a Google if you do a Google search for a certain city, you might see like top 10 best restaurants right now. I don't go to those places because those are ones being hyped up and probably like a lot of people are going and there's big lines and stuff. So I try to find hidden spots, maybe it hasn't been infiltrated yet. And also I try to find a place that's not too expensive or bougie because I'm on a budget living in my car here. And also I kind of pick places based on their logo, branding, font, or something cute about it or their name is really cute. It's not technical or scientific. It's kind of like when you pick a football team by the look of their uniform. I'm not saying I do that, but I might. If a restaurant on their website has their story and it really is like something that's like down home or just like, you know what, these are good people. They're just trying to make a living with their restaurant. Then I like to try those places too. So one of the challenges when living in your car is that you have to do your laundry at some point. So in Vancouver, I found a laundromat. I think it was light bright laundromat. I went in and of course it takes time to do laundry so I was like do you guys have Wi-Fi and they're like no he's like but there's a Starbucks a few doors down so of course I walked down to Starbucks to do a little work and then I noticed this bagel place called Rosemary Rock Salt and I was like hmm that looks great and I love their branding and I just love the look of it and bagels are delicious I looked it up online and it was talking about that these bagels are Montreal style bagels now I'm in Vancouver, so I was like, well, that's not really like a Vancouver treat, but it's still Canada, so why not? I get to the counter and I ask the guy there who was super sweet and nice. I was like, is it okay if I film in here? And he's like, sure. So I took some shots and then I said, okay, so can you explain the idea behind this name and about these bagels? And he's like, sure. So basically it's a regular bagel dough and they put rosemary in the dough as they're mixing it together. And so then they bake it in this like wood fire oven. Like you see those big pizza ovens at like California Pizza Kitchen or some of the other big pizza places that have to like, you know, shovel them in and stuff. And they had that big oven in there. I was like, ooh, this is gonna be good. And then he's like, once they bake them, they put rock salt on the top. And then of course you can choose your schmear. You can do butter, Nutella, obviously cream cheese, and there's like a bunch of different flavors of cream cheese. And I was like, oh, this is getting better and better. When I was talking to him about this bagel, he was like, oh, well, let me give you our punch card. So when you come back, you can, you know, start accumulating these little punches. I was like, oh no, I'm from California. So I'm just visiting. He's like, this is your first time. And I was like, yeah, he goes, you know what, on the house. And I was like, I love free. And that was like such a nice gesture. So I give Rosemary Rock Salt a big thumbs up for just being so generous and kind and just like really wanting their customers to have a good experience. They said, go sit down, we'll bring it to you. And they bring it to you on this really cute wooden board and with each bagel in its own little pocket, which is so sweet. Now these are not like real thick, big bagels, but they're just like kind of short and they ha and I had ordered it with cream cheese. My first bite, I was like, oh they're onto something different it was delicious it's just like eating a soft pretzel because it's like the consistency and the texture of a soft pretzel like when you bite into that and it kind of like pulls a little bit and it's like chewy and then that rock salt on top of it it's literally like eating a warm pretzel bagel with rock salt and then that cream cheese though okay so i'm not a huge cream cheese person i do like it but this cream cheese is almost like a sweet cream cheese that would be on something like a carrot cake but not that sweet it just had that creamy flavor and it was just smeared on so smoothly oh it was so good i ate that whole bagel and i was like yo like this bagel was so good my mouth was watering the bagel was delicious and i know that if i lived in this area i would definitely be going there more and more now if i would have paid for this bagel the bagel would have been like four dollars and of course that's a little pricey for one bagel but it really was so tasty and the combination of flavors the textures worked well and just the staff there were just super nice and accommodating and i really enjoyed it and I would definitely visit Rosemary Rock Salt again. Next on my list, food is great. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I was looking up different areas to go to in Vancouver to visit, and one of the things that kept popping up was Granville Island. 
Now this is a, it's not really an island, it's a peninsula because I thought that I had to take the aqua bus on the water to go over to this island, but I found out that you can just drive over. So I was like, I mean, I'm in my car. And so I decided to drive over, got my parking spot, which is paid parking. They have a good amount of parking, I'd say, unless it was like a busy weekend or holiday, I'm certain that it would probably be super crowded. You might not get a spot. I found parking with no trouble. And then it's just kind of like this area with like a lot of shops and restaurants. It's home to the Granville Market. I was not prepared for how awesome this market was. I walked in and I was just hit with different shops, restaurants, just everything. There was like flowers, donuts, all the types of food you can think of. It was awesome. It seemed to go on forever and ever and I was truly overwhelmed because I was like shoot I am ready for lunch but I do not know what to pick it was also a really cold day and I happened to see this little kiosk restaurant called the stock market it was a soup place where they make the soups in stock pots and I was like that is so clever the stock market cute so I was like soup sounds great on a cold day and I really wanted some clam chowder and it would have been great like clam chowder in a bread bowl oh that would have been so just comforting I was a little disappointed because they only had three soups that you can buy and eat there they had a bunch of packaged soups but of course I'm in my car I don't have a microwave I don't have a way to heat it up and they basically sell that so you could take it home and eat it and they had plenty of different kinds of soups in the case but even then I didn't see clam chowder I saw like lobster bisque split pea and other creamy soups but not clam chowder which was so odd to me they were only serving three soups that you can just buy and eat there and one of them was the standard traditional chicken noodle at that point i had walked around for so long i was like you know i'm just hungry and if it's really fresh and delicious i think chicken noodle will hit the spot and it comes with a piece of focaccia bread so i mean that seems pretty hearty and filling. I did eat the whole bowl of that soup and ate all the bread. It was a really good cup of soup. The chicken was fresh, the noodles were really good, but it wasn't like the best soup I've ever had. And for it being a soup place and they only have three kinds of soup available, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more punch or a little bit more flavor and it just wasn't there. The focaccia bread though was pretty good. But again, if you're just focused on soup and a piece of bread, I don't know, like I wanted a little bit more and maybe just because it was chicken noodle and it wasn't super exciting, I felt slightly disappointed because I had so many other choices to pick from and I just went with a cup of soup. But you know, sometimes you're just so hungry and you're just like, you know, I'm just gonna eat this. But I try not to be super picky. It still was a really good bowl of soup and the bread was great too. One of the things that I first saw when I walked in was Stewart's Baked Goods and it was a it was basically a big bakery case full of all the greatest looking sweets. So I was like, you know what, this is going to be my dessert for later. Once I finished my soup, I circled back around to Stewart's and I placed my order. Can I get the, um, one of the peanut butter cookies? Sure. You want this for a snack later, right? One of those um, record record wheel things? Yeah. Something they call a cinnamon record. When I was growing up, we would have these like big cinnamon round things and we call them elephant ears. And it's just so good, but I'll talk about that later. Granville Island is also located right on the water so you can eat your lunch with a beautiful view. You can walk around, there's a lot of murals and paintings and there's a kid's area. I would say like if you were going to take somebody on a date, that would be a great place to go because there's so many options. It's not even that far from downtown Vancouver. I still had some sightseeing to do, so I wanted to wrap it up and head to my next location. Another thing I kept reading about was Chinatown, and they have a big Asian influence and lots of great food. I was really in the mood for some dumplings or pot stickers or something like that, so I was like, you know what, let me look up some of the best dim sum in the area. And I don't even know if I've ever had dim sum traditionally, but it's one of those things that you might have it and you may not even know. Or maybe you should know, but maybe I don't know. I don't know. I knew that I wanted it. So I looked up a few spots and I really wanted to go to Chinatown, but it was getting late and I wanted to make moves down the coast so I could get a little bit further out of the city. So I found a place that is in Chinatown called the Peaceful Restaurant, which I just love the name Peaceful because always trying to stay centered. There was another one in Surrey, British Columbia, which is on my way out of Vancouver. So I was like, you know what? That sounds like a hit. It's out of the way. I'll probably have good parking 
and I'll probably have a really great meal. So I drove there, I went in, and literally there was only one family in there and then me. So I pretty much had the whole place to myself and actually at a certain point that family left and it was just me. One thing that I did notice is that there was a lot of delivery people coming in and out. So people like from like Grubhub or Postmates or whatever they have in Canada were coming in and out. So it must be a very popular dim sum restaurant. One of the things that I read online is that is that Peaceful Restaurant is known for their Xiaolong Bao. It's basically a steamed bun with meat in it. And you've seen the little like round buns with like the little pinch thing on top. I've had pot stickers and dumplings before, but I've never had like a steamed bun. And I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And they're known for their Xiaolong Bao. It's filled with minced pork, ginger, and a savory sauce. It comes in this really cute basket and it comes with eight pieces. And I was asking the waitress, I'm like, is that a lot for one person or not a lot so should I order two things it was already nine dollars for a basket so I was like I'm good that's gonna be enough for me because I still have dessert so I ordered that and I waited and I waited and I waited I probably waited for at least 30 minutes for my order to come out and I was the only person in this restaurant I was a little surprised but I know that they're making them handmade and I also know that there's a lot of to-go orders coming in but also 30 minutes is a long time to wait when you're the only person in the restaurant. That I was not impressed with. Once it came out and the basket was full of these beautifully steamed buns, I was like, okay, here we go. And I was so hungry and so ready to try these that I was like, all right, let's dig in. Here's my attempt at trying to eat the first one. And I bite into it and there's liquid from the meat and it bursts open and it like burns my mouth and I just drop it right back into the basket. And I'm trying to film this and I look up and there's a delivery guy just staring at me laughing. And I was like, bro, look away, look away. I'm embarrassed, look away, that's rude. <laughs> so I sit there for a few minutes and I was like, all right, calm down. You need to like relax and let these things cool down a little bit because they're prepared in these steamed buns, they're steamed. And so the meat is just kind of like sizzling and it's like the juices of the meat are inside. So it's like really, really hot juices. So it's something that you kind of need to like maybe poke a hole in and let it like let it cool down a little bit. So I did give it some time, but I was so hungry. I was like, come on. So once I was able to bite into it and eat it fully, it was such a good flavor. I was like, okay, I see why they're known for these buns because they are really good. I'm more of a person that likes fried pot stickers or fried dumplings. So I like the little crunch on top of the dough but these were still really good steamed. I would definitely recommend going and having these and I really wanted to try other dishes on their menu, but I'm just a solo person and I can't eat that much. I really wish that some of these restaurants would have sampler platters so you can get like two steamed buns of this, two pot stickers, two this. That would be really, really helpful for somebody that likes to snack and that's by themselves because then you get to like taste a variety of their meals. But all in all, I had a good experience. After I ate eight steamed buns, I was really full. So I was like, okay, it's not time for dessert. And I still had a two hour drive to the destination I was gonna be sleeping that night. So in the middle of my drive, I was like, all right, I'm ready for that dessert. So I pulled out my cinnamon record and went to town and it was so good. Now the edges were a little more dry and didn't have as much cinnamon flavor, but once you got into the middle, it was like that crisp, almost caramelized, sugary, like cinnamon flavor oh it was so good i was just really into that thing and i was like i am probably gonna eat this whole thing but i didn't i ate half of it and put it away but it was really tasty and and i'm glad that i got that as my dessert to rank my breakfast lunch dinner dessert i would have to rank it in this order breakfast with those bagels number one no question about it number two the cinnamon record number three the steamed buns and number four the sad little chicken soup that was still good but just didn't hit the mark for me vancouver gets a thumbs up for me and if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up too